As many of you know, uh, 14 of us took a trip to Tijuana, Mexico, about two, a little less than two weeks ago. And we wanted to just say a really special thanks to all of those of you who prayed for us, especially those who gave uh, sacrificially in order to help cover the cost of our trip. Uh, God abundantly uh, provided for us. He went above and beyond to uh, provide everything we needed to get down there and get back. So thank you so much. And while we were in Mexico, we had a very impactful time. And so this morning, I have asked uh, one of our leaders, Drew Gilmore, and uh, also Ivana, the one and only, to share about uh, their experience on the mission trip. Now, I've, I've given them uh, three questions that I'm going to ask, and I just gave these to them yesterday, uh, so they were brave enough to come up here and be willing to share. First question, what was your favorite part of the trip, and what was most impactful for you? I would say my favorite part of the trip was... On, I believe, Tuesday, our second day there, we got to visit um, a church called, I believe it's Iglesia de Dios de Nueva Pacto um, in Tijuana. Uh, pastor Roman is connected with Pastor Oscar, who essentially runs, he's a pastor of a church, uh, and also runs a rehabilitation program for men who just come out of prison. And so we got to go visit his church church which he built with his bare hands. After coming out of prison, he was in prison for a while, he was addicted to heroin, he was diagnosed with cancer, basically every bad thing that happened to a human. And he came out and built this church, and we got to hear his testimony, and we got to witness to his joy and his ministry, and it was uh, unlike any other ministry I've come in contact with ever. Well, I think we all like the tacos, so that was good. But that was my absolute favorite. But I think for me, like the most impactful moment would be like when we arrived at the orphanage. Um, I've been going to these mission trips since I was like seven. And um, I've been going with Brittany over there. And um, we every time it's like something different, but this time I think it would be like when we went to the orphanage, um, all the kids just run up to you and like love you all the time. And a lot of them like didn't know, none of them knew Drew and Lauren or Josh or anyone who came for the first time. And they just like give you this love that you would never expect from like just a random stranger. And um, it was really nice to watch that. And, like since I finally got to know them throughout the years of going, it was so nice to just go and, and talk to them. Like if I was like best friends with them because they were so cute. And, um, and then when my dad arrived, all of them just ran up to them and like were screaming, Pastor Roman, oh my gosh. I was like, oh my God, it's like crazy. Like they all know him. And it was like super like, like heartwarming. Cause like, I don't know, like they were so excited to see him. And it made me really, really happy. What was the most challenging part of the trip for both of you? We ran into a few challenges just practical challenges um, with leaving Santa Barbara on Monday, um, with figuring out how we're gonna get down there car-wise. It's a long story. I'll tell you another time. Um, and we had a hard time, I mean, crossing the border, coming back, it's difficult, but I would say the biggest challenge was one of the days, I, I mean, in general, just doing things that were really outside of our comfort zone. But yeah, it's, I would say specifically, we, we served at a, a retirement home, in Tijuana on Tuesday and basically got to spend some time serving some people who have no family, no friends, no connection, just been kind of left to die. It sounds really gnarly, but that's kind of what it is. And we got to serve them physically, the uh, men, myself, Roman, Will, Mariano, uh, shaved the old men, gave them a fresh shave, and the girls painted their fingernails for the elderly ladies, and it was Mariano's first time shaving ever. <laughs> so it was, like, it was hard to kind of uh, rest the challenge and push through feeling uncomfortable and seeing the, I guess, a lot of just trouble and a lot of pain and a lot of uh, lack of love that they have from, from their families. Um, I would have to agree with Drew. Um, the retirement home is very overwhelming to go to every time. I feel like 
every time you go on the mission trip, at least I've been on the mission trip, that's always the most challenging um, like part that I, of the mission trip that always like gets to me really, because like, like you just see them, and you, you just, it's like sad, you're like why, like why do you have to be in this situation? And it's, um, it's very difficult to be there, but yet you gain so much from being there um, and talking to all of them and just listening to their stories. And, um, it's very impactful. Last question. All right. Why is serving in Tijuana, or you say maybe how is serving in Tijuana different than serving here in the States? I think the biggest thing is there are just certain things that growing up in America, we kind of assume are certain standards of living. We get used to it. There's variations of that within our own city, different socioeconomic status. I think serving in Tijuana was different because a lot of that, um, a lot of those assumptions were kind of just uh, so far from accurate. And we got to see people who have a lot less. Uh, and that was really hard on a material level, not something that we're used to here. Um, and, but despite that, something that was interesting to me, I think what you can say is the same. It's something that we, we were opening the same Bible in Tijuana, here at Santa Barbara. Uh, we were worshiping the same God. And, and so we got to see a little glimpse of that through our time with Pastor Alberto and Pastor Oscar. Uh, and that was incredibly encouraging, despite the difference as far as uh, wealth and poverty? Um, for me, it's like, um, it's a whole different environment that you enter. Like, it's crazy how like one wall or border can separate like how different each country is. Like, you're going in from San Diego from like this beautiful place and then you just enter across the border and it's a completely different world. And um, just the environment's super different, but when we serve there, it's just, um, I don't know, it, it makes you feel, uh, or it satisfies you, um, just like knowing that you're doing God's will, and no matter where you are. Let's give him a hand. Yeah.